Well, hello there. It's me, Kayvon, the most famous half-Scottish comedian in the entire world, I think. You know, not long ago, I decided to go through my archives because, well, let's face it, there wasn't a lot to do. The comedy clubs are currently closed. So I'm looking at my old clips and I thought, why not share them with you fine people? Now, you gotta love comedy because I'm gonna be real honest with you. A lot of this was just filmed with a little camera you put on a table just to watch it back yourself later and improve your jokes for your big one hour comedy special. That's what comedians do. So I wasn't really concerned about getting my body in the frame perfectly or zooming in or having the right angles. All that will come later when you get a seven camera shoot for the big one hour special. The reason I tell you that is because the quality of this clip is horrible. But if you're a big fan of stand-up comedy and you wanna see how the sausage is made, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek behind the curtain of what comedians do to work, build, and mold their bits into the finished product you see later on in life. If you're a true comedy fan, you'll get a kick out of this. This clip comes to us from 2013, and I was doing approximately 50 colleges a year at that time. Now here's how you book college gigs. At some point in the year, you go to a huge convention center and you perform for the buyer from every school in the nation. There could be like 400 schools and so there'd be 400 delegates sitting there with a little notepad and you have to stand out. And if you do a good job, the next day you get an email from your agent that says, wow, you got five schools or 10 schools or my record, 55 schools in one performance. So you feel great because now you know the whole rest of the year you're going to be making good money. But you forget you have to tour to every little town, every corner of the United States, and even into parts of Canada. Many colleges, if you don't know, don't have a major airport. So you're landing at the major airport, renting a car, and then driving four hours. And there was a point in time where I did not come home for 35 days. Somewhere along that stop was ASU West. When I got the email, you're going to ASU, I go, woo, Tempe. He goes, no, West. I didn't even know where that was. So here's me performing at ASU West campus. And I decided to gently make fun of Britney Spears because she was fairly hot at the time, a lot of controversy with her. And as you know, when she sings, she kind of vibrates. Hold me, DT, let me see. You know how she does it. Anyway, I think you'll enjoy this clip. Don't complain to me about the quality. It's supposed to be bad. We're digging deep into the vaults. Just watch and enjoy. So there you have it. That's what it looks like performing at a college gig. There's probably about 250 kids in the audience. Nobody paid a dollar. So there's heckling, there's complaining, there's people who are offended, but that night was great. ASU West, you showed a lot of love. You gave me a lot of laughs and I'll come back to ASU West anytime. The main campus, you still have to win me over. We're not friends yet. If you like that video, I have 400 more on youtube.com slash caveoncomedy. And if you like to support comedians who have been negatively affected by the pandemic, might I recommend you start here? There are three ways you can support. The first way you can help is throw a little money in Venmo at kvon-kvon. The second way is a one-time donation on gofundme.com slash tanksgod. And the final way you can help a half Scottish comedian is become a Patreon subscriber at kvon-comedy. That's me, making people laugh around the world. All right, I gotta go find another clip for you deep in the archive. Get out of here, go to bed. Why are you up so late? <laughs>